All right, guys, so here is um, Hero Chow. Sorry about the weird little intro there, but uh, the man is here. Wait, I was supposed to zoom in. There we go. All right, check out the tag. Uh, you know, usual thing. It says Sonic on there. And then it has Hero Chow's name. You know, very basic tag. There's nothing special about this. Now, there is the back of Hero Chow, and he actually comes with a, uh, a white hanger, which is pretty cool because most of, like, if not all of the GE Sonic plushes come with the uh, yellow tag, uh, with the exception of um, Gamma and Infinite that have black tag or black strings. Uh, and also, Vector doesn't come with a string. You know, makes sense because of how big he is. But uh, there's the back of Hero Chow. Okay, here's a closer look at his Halo. Um, I mean, there, there's nothing much to say about it other than it looks great. You got the little tint of blue on his antennas and everything. Um, it's very well done. It looks, I mean, it looks really good. Like I said, there's not much to say about Hero Chow. I mean, uh, here's a close look at his mouth. You know, he, he's really happy as every Hero Chow should be. Uh, you got his eyes, which look very nice. Um, and then his hands and his little feet. And then, uh, you can see a little, you know, uh, let me bring him a little bit more into the light. Um, it looks like there's a tint of yellow. So yeah, it's a little tint of yellow because I forgot that Hero Chows kind of have that uh, like uh, color on their on their body, on their chest area. Um, also, I don't think I showed you guys his wings or like a good look at his wings. Of course, I mean, they look really good. Um, like I said, there's not much else to say about him. I mean, there's his little tail looking all adorable. And then his, and then his feet, uh, there's the bottom of his feet. They look really good. I mean, this Chow, I mean, Chow, this plush looks really perfect. Um, we haven't had a Hero Chow plush since um, Sonic Adventure, since that plush line, which was like 20 years ago-ish. And now we have a, an, an updated Hero Chow plush. I don't know why it took this long to make one. It's so weird, you know? We kept getting a lot of Dark Chow plushies, and uh, I'm not going to complain about that, like, ever. I love Chows. Give us all the Chow merch in the world. We even got a cheese plush by Jax, which I actually do have. Um, but it took so long for Hero Chow to, like, come back, you know? I mean, he, he's such a cool little adorable squishy guy. And um, I'm not much else to say about him, guys. But, yeah, he looks great. So definitely pick him up if you can. Uh, I believe you know, he, I got him on Amazon. But uh, he's also on uh the great eastern entertainment website so yeah go feel free to go grab that guy okay but this dude is the main events all right forgive me if i nerd out a little bit throughout this guy's uh review because i am in love with mephilus bro he is literally my favorite freaking sonic villain as a lot of other people's honestly i mean who doesn't love mephilus He's just super cool. He has a very unique design. I, I like his backstory a lot. Um, how um, how he just plays everyone for a fool in Sonic 06. He's very uh, um, manipulating, ma manipulative, uh, I should say. Um, he, he's, oh my God. Oh, I, I cannot believe it. it took us this long to get a plush of him. His first debut was in 2006 for the 15th anniversary uh sonic game that oh my, that was 15 years ago why did it take us this long to get a plush of it anyways there is the back of what mephilus looks like let me have him kind of stand up a little bit uh kind of not much really to say about his back other than it looks um, be freaking beautiful there is a good look at his tag all right, and he just feels very soft. Like, I this material that he's made out of is amazing. I, I really like uh, what they did with his chest right here. And then, of course, his feet. They're kind of like, it's. It, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, in the games, it's, it, it almost looks like ice or something. Like, I don't, I really don't know the best way to describe it, but it, it, he looks super cool. And Mephilus in the game also doesn't have a mouth. So, that, it makes him even cooler. Uh, his hands look great. His eyes, like, he, he looks freaking menacing. Uh, the blue mixed in with the purple. Like, dude, this plush, oh my gosh. He is definitely probably my favorite GE plush, 
honestly, he just looks so freaking good. Like, it's Mephiles. This guy is going to be in the videos, guys. He's going to have his own arc. Um, so stay tuned for that because he's going to be in it. All right, so I turned the flash on so you guys could get, like, a better look at these guys. Um, they just look so good, bro. Like, I really love these plushies. GE is the best. All right? Sonic plush company in my opinion it like i said it's just my opinion it's not I'm not saying it's like facts but i mean come on like th th this right here just kind of says it all really um but yeah i mean hero chow is also gonna be in the videos too so look out for hero chow uh if you guys liked this review hit the like button subscribe i don't know what that was but subscribe and join the discord and hit the notification bell share the video because that helps us out a lot we are literally like 16 subs away from a thousand so just help us out get us there come on now we're like the best sonic plush tubers here on the channel we do live streams it's probably gonna be I'm, as of recording this video i'm probably gonna live stream today friday march 11th um i'm yeah i'm probably going to <laughs> um but yes, uh, I hope you guys like this review. Uh, more reviews like this are coming. I'm going to do a Fang the Sniper uh, review um, this upcoming Monday because that's when he's uh, coming in. Um, or some people like to call him Knack the Weasel. Either, either or. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, guys, hit the subscribe button uh, and do all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys later. Peace.